15 minutes after 12 o'clock. Well, Trinidad and Tobago, here it is. Here we have it. Mr. Ron Berridge, welcome to the studios of WAC Radio. And of course, uh, it's a blessing having you guys here together with our Mr. Roy Keyboy, the original Roy Keyboy. Roy, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, Mr. Wow. Desmond, and good afternoon to WAC, and good afternoon to Trinidad and Tobago, mm-hmm. especially San Fernando. Nice. Welcome, guys. Ron, welcome home, partner. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be It's a long time. How, when was the last time you graced these shows, man? Oh, tr- Two years in two, 2013. 2013. Yes. You know, we, I shouldn't say me, but the, the, the dancers of Trinidad and Tobago, they're missing the music, you know, right? The well, people who love nice music and thing, you know, Roy keeping it up to his standard uh, and thing, and everybody keep talking about Ron Berridge. Well, That's great, great, great <laughs> Ron Berridge, <laughs> you know? At, hmm? at some point in time, it swings back, it, it, makes, it goes in circles. Mm-hmm. At some point in time, it might take a few years, well, but mm. it will come back. <laughs> All right, nice, great. Yeah. So, we started with Papi. My right, Papi, I mean, you're in the business, what? How many years now in this business? It's about 56. I'm 56. Yeah. And you started out from where? Where, where? Well, my story is I grew up in the orphanage mm-hmm. from 1954 to 1958. Mm-hmm. I lived there in 58. Mm-hmm. Ren and myself, we grew up together. Mm-hmm. And on leaving, um, yeah, mm-hmm. we, because of our, our growing up together, mm-hmm. there was a, a bond and we hung out. Mm-hmm. So most of the little bands that I played with, Ron was also there. Right. But I can go from the CYO band somewhere 1960 61. Mm-hmm. And from there, I would say my first big band was Cell Wheeler. Sell wheeler. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, well, well, you, you know, as, as you talk all these things, right? Sell wheeler, you'll be talking like this. That's Ron playing trumpet, mm-hmm. that playing alto, and Sell wheeler playing trombone. So, as we go, we have the music, you know, Papi. You know, we're back as we talk about it, we're bringing it to the people, right, right, you know? Right. <laughs> so, from the days of Sell wheeler, all right? From Sell wheeler? Mm-hmm. Frankie Francis had asked me to come because Errol Lynch and the tenor saxophone player Lane had left and went away. Mm-hmm. Um, I said to Frankie, I said, Frank, well, I can't leave the guys and them just like that because all of us grew up together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he told me he would take the whole band. Wow. At that point, Frankie was the musical director, producer at Telco Recording. Wow. So all those recordings. Um, the song was recorded at Telco. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Frankie had moved from Alto to Tenor Sax. Yes. And I was placed on Alto Sax. Right. At that time, the music was too big for me. Too big for you? Why, do, why should you say something like that? Well, I had to replace Frankie Francis, who I could have never really replaced. Mm. Um, I was pretty young and I was still, you know, learning. Okay. So most times, I would have kept back the session. Mm-hmm. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, you know, we have a countless. How should I put this? Old uh, oh gosh! <laughs> <laughs> we are we are now joined by Mr. Clarence Kirvan. Would you believe Ron Berridge, Roy Cape? And Clarence Kirvan in your company for the next two hours. We, I tell you. Yeah, that Mr. We play. All right. So, folks, we coming back. We coming back with more in just a little bit. All right.